Our latest album, Pentuk, was released last year on November the 19th. On the same day, we had a full blood moon and a lunar eclipse, which to us seemed like providence, since we had just included the changing faces of the moon on the album's cover. But the cover and album artwork represents so much more. It contains a multitude of layers, images and symbols that we arrived at through months of experimenting and with crucial input from you, our listeners. In this video we want to tell you more about the Pentut artwork, how it came about and what the different images and symbols signify. Oh yeah. All structured. It was about this time last year that we were introduced to this guy, Pieter Hoekstra. Pieter is a deep and thoughtful visual artist from the Netherlands, whose work we admired and with whom we set out to develop the artwork for our two upcoming sister albums, who were as of yet untitled. We started off by talking about themes that could visually represent the music that we were about to record and began, literally, with an empty canvas. This particular canvas can be seen on the cover of the first single from this period, All is Well. On the cover, two abstract lines meet before diverging again into an unspecified distance. The lines can be seen as representing the past, present and future, as a part of a triangle or an abstract letter A. But how you perceive this simple symbol is left to the beholder and depends on one's perspective, point of view and distance from the symbol. While photographing the canvas, Peter experimented with monochromic light sources, which is to say, optical spectrums that contain only one frequency and he focused on red and violet, the highest and lowest frequencies that the human eye can perceive. Like two lines on a canvas or two musical notes in a composition, each of these wavelengths have a frequency that travels differently through space and time. We were on to something. Along with Pieter, our creative team also consisted of our manager, Robin Gielen, and our long-standing collaborator and filmmaker and all-around nice guy, Jasper van Geluwe. And it was together with them that we started to zoom in on themes that had already started to emerge in the new song lyrics. Time. Or rather, the perception of time. It dawned on us that these songs were born out of extraordinary Covid times where time itself seemed to drag on forever. Yet weeks seemed to pass with a blink of an eye. This contradictory, pendulous experience of time became the metaphorical framework for our two album polarities, Pentut and Blick. By the end of June last year, we invited you guys into this brainstorming process of ours and asked you to tell us about your personal perception of time. As our inbox filled up in the following days, we were awed by your imaginative thoughts, poems, pictures and even paintings that all illustrated your unique ideas on time. Before moving on and digesting the divergences, we singled out a few recurring themes in your emails, namely memories. That's how we got the idea to photograph the band using a so-called wet plate collodion technique, and thus create something in the present that stands outside of time and has all the makings of a distant memory, a moment in time outside of time. The wet plate collodion process dates back to 1851 and involves coating a glass plate with a mixture of iodide solution and cellulose nitrate, 
which then gets immersed in silver nitrate to form light sensitive iodide. There will be a test on this later. After the photo is taken, the glass plate is developed in a dark room in a bath of pyrogallic acid, which in the most ghostly manner possible brings the image to life. I've been a photographer for 10 years and I've never had this feeling. This, this, I'm almost crying. This technique, although time consuming and complicated in execution, is still today celebrated for its ability to capture the soul of its objects in a way that still eludes modern technology. The three people on the photo are really us. It's by far the most vulnerable and honest photo ever taken of the band. We now had a cover image for Pentuk. Still, there were more far-reaching ideas brewing based on your input that would really capture the essence of the album's conceptual heart. Hey guys, this is Peter over here. I, um, I'm working on uh, some of your inspiration you sent us uh, by the mail. Um, yeah, I'm very inspired of all your, all your input of perception of time, so I'm very happy with it. So let's see what happens with my brain, my creative brain, if I can make something of it. When you sent us your ideas about the perception of time, what really blew us away was how different your ideas were. All of you approached the subject of time from widely different viewpoints, emphasizing different emotional and intellectual aspects, and each perspective carried a unique analysis and thoughts about its meaning. Yeah, it was a lot, a lot to unpack. Let me just... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where to start, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still digesting it. I think I have to go back. And yet, and yet. When viewed as a whole, all of your different ideas started to tell a wider collective story. Like voices in a choir or different musical notes playing together, they started to form new and unexpected harmonies. Or to put it in a visual context, when we superimposed your different vantage points, some themes would overlap in places. And like meandering lines on a piece of paper, your line of reasoning had common crossing points. Patterns started to emerge, whispering new insights and meanings, new associations of your collective imagination. And that's when the idea came about to create shapes and symbols based on your thoughts. After weeks of mulling over your emails, Peter set out to create a set of characters that could visually combine and represent all of your ideas. In the coming weeks, as the symbols started to take shape, we started referring to them between us as being runes, our own modern abstract runes. As a canvas, frame or carrier for these runes, Peter chose the hexagon shape found in Leonardo da Vinci's illustrations in the book Divina Proporzione from 1509. The title refers to the golden ratio and the book lists mathematical proportions and their application to geometry and visual art. The hexagon figure is a shape that Leonardo uses specifically as representing or framing time. The first signs of where this process was heading appeared on the artwork for our single Kvenar Kemr Sol, where the golden ratio appeared in disguise on the cover. And Peter's newly created runes made their first appearance on the single artwork for the song Endatapl, before appearing in all their glory inside the cover of Pentuk and the t-shirt that we offered to our crowdfunding backers. Those of you who sent us your thoughts on time, can you spot your ideas in any of the signs? And how do you interpret the other signs? Both the creation and the interpretation of these signs is as much yours as it is ours. P. 
Peter's way of creating is one of arriving rather than just creating. By juxtaposing different elements and introducing them to new contexts, new meanings emerge that are far deeper than one can simply conjure with one's mind alone. It's an accumulative process that takes shape over time, and the process itself is the art. Peter strives to unveil patterns and insights that were possibly always present, but which we never saw until we adjusted our gaze. It's all about the perspective. Peter is also a creator that likes to draw out the artist in other people, by making the beholder a part of the artistic experience. Rather than dictating the meaning of his art, he strives to make people co-creators, to create a space for interpretation where you fill in the gaps and imbue the art with your own meaning. Much like a band leader, Peter simply sets the stage and then encourages each unique voice to get heard. And that is very much the case with our hexagon enclosed rooms. Although they are based on and accumulated by your ideas, they are not definitive fixed symbols. Rather, they draw on multiple meanings specifically in order to invite new meanings. All of us are welcome to let them represent what we want them to. What do the symbols really mean? Well, that is solely up to you. The same approach can be applied to the listening experience when you, for example, listen to the songs on Pentel. Most of you don't understand our Icelandic lyrics, but instead you get to decide what the songs mean to you. And that is exactly the way it should be. All in all, Peter created around 30 different symbols. But this is an open-ended system. More importantly, these runes are now our common language, which we hope will continue to evolve and grow, to become a living thing. So it's time to pass the ball back to you guys and invite you to directly design your own rune. In the description of this video is a link where you can download the hexagon template that Peter used to create the runes. We encourage you to draw your own symbol within the hexagon shape. Make the symbol yours and imbue it with a meaning that is special to you. You don't need any creative background to do this and there are no rules. The template has grids to help you get started, but feel free to totally disregard them. Draw circles if you like, curved lines, dot work, or whatever you can think of. This language belongs to you as much as us, and however it will evolve from this point is up to all of us. In fact, make as many symbols as you feel like, and once you come up with something that you like, we'd love it if you would share them with us. Take a photo of your symbols and email them to austir at gmail.com so that we can incorporate them into the Pentut and Blake artwork universe and so that all of us can enjoy them. Like new constellations in a night sky, let's see what new ideas these new signs will give rise to. What will be the new associations of our collective imagination? In the next video, we will turn our attention to the next chapter of this story, the artwork for Bleak. Remember our weekly game of Enjoy Your Weekend, where we share pictures of how our world and immediate surroundings look like each week? Well, this game of ours might find its way into our continuing saga of the twin albums Pentutl and Bleak, Two Moments in Time.